All right. As they say on uh, X, tap and load this in 4K. It's uh, wallpaper material type stuff, no question. And one of, if not the most gorgeous natural phenomenon in our night sky. The Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, stunned flyers last night on a flight from Denver to Chicago. On your screen, right there, that incredible view of the aurora from the flight. Auroras are the result of geomagnetic storms that are generated by cosmic rays from the sun. You can see some of those charged particles uh, interacting with the magnetosphere, and then depending on what molecule it is, you get some different colors. They dance around, and it turns into this magnificent display. So let's learn more about this and what it was like on that flight. Joining us is the photographer of the pictures that you were just looking at, uh, Dr. Ryan French. He's a solar physicist an author and research scientist at the Lab for Atmospheric and Space Physics. That's out at the University of Colorado in, in Boulder. Uh, Ryan, I'm kind of an aisle seat guy typically, so I can move around a little bit. This feels like it was a window seat situation. What was that like? Yeah, this was definitely a window seat kind of night. Um, if you're on the aisle, you'd have missed this. If you're on the opposite window facing south, you also would have missed this. Um, it was great. So I'm a solar physicist. I researched the sun for a career. So I sort of knew what was going to be happening. And periodically after we took off, as soon as we took off over the clouds there, I started taking pictures of my phone waiting for the aurora. And your phone will see it before you can. Your phone camera, if you just set your camera on for a few seconds, uh, you'll, you'll capture those beautiful colors. I tried to share the excitement with those around me. A few people were interested, a few people <laughs> not interested or couldn't see it or didn't know what they were looking for. Uh, but no, it was fantastic. So that was actually my next question. I'm going to go on a limb and say that, that you were uh, the only one on the plane with a, with a PhD in space weather. That's probably a fair assumption. Did folks know? Were you telling people on the plane uh, that, that you were expecting this or, or were you expecting it at all? Was this just a lucky thing? We were, we were expecting it as, as scientists. So the sun is in a very active period this week in particular. Uh, last night, we had a strong geomagnetic storm. You introduced those beforehand. Tonight, again, we're expecting a strong geomagnetic storm. I think probably the person next to me has no idea what that means. I sort of tapped him on the shoulder, showed him my phone, and said, hey, look, this is, this is out the window right now. Um, but again, unless you're right on that window, it's, it's, it's difficult to see. And, you know, being on a plane, the plane is moving, the cabin lights are on. Probably not ideal situations to be looking at the aurora. Definitely not ideal situations, but still really cool to see. Yeah, yeah you're reading my mind. I'm, I'm wondering, uh, yeah. cabin lights, typically folks are going absolutely as far away from, from cities and any type of light pollution yeah. is possible. Yeah. How, how vibrant was it? Was, was, this, was this the iPhone telling the story or was this pretty easily detectable uh, to your eyes? Yeah, so you can see strong aurora even in light polluted areas, but it's very, very challenging and it's got to be really, really bright. So to the eye, you can see something. It sort of looks sort of, you can't see the colors, so you can't see the green and the reds, but you can see sort of what looks like a misty sort of arc in the sky. And I could see this was moving a little bit, so I could tell that it was the Northern Lights. But if you're, unless you're somewhere really dark, you're not going to see those greens and those reds with your eye. Uh, but even if you have some light pollution, you can still see the faint white and your camera or even your phone will pick those colors up. So in your travels, in your studies, uh, where have you been uh, chasing the aurora? It's on my bucket list. I've tried a couple times and struck out. <sighs> Yeah, so the furthest north I've been to see the aurora is in Svalbard, which is an island in the Arctic north of Norway. Uh, but I have seen it here from the US. Last year in May 2024 and October 2024, we had some severe and extreme geomagnetic storms, so much stronger than what we had last night and what we're expecting tonight. And I saw them from Colorado. So you don't have to go north to see these, see these things. Sometimes the Northern Lights will come to you, but you've got to know when that's happening and um, you've got to be ready for it. I may have to, uh, to reach back out to you to get the spelling of that place you went to in Norway. <laughs> I am uh, most certainly in pursuit of yeah, this. Yeah. And as you told us, it looks like a, a bunch more folks will have an opportunity once again tonight, perhaps into the weekend. That's Dr. Ryan French. Uh, th this was a really cool thing. We appreciate you uh, taking the time to tell us about it on Fox Weather. Of course. Thanks for having me. All right.